Yo, what is good guys? So for today, I'm going to be showing you my hunter. I will be doing this for all my classes since I didn't do it last time. So I actually ended up doing this video a while ago, but because of the changes to the whole armor and whatnot, I decided to make another video of it. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> so this is how my hunter looks. Usually this is what I'm rocking when uh, I want to look cool and I want to look like a hunter because ultimately I look cool as fuck. You can't even tell me I don't because you're lying and don't lie because people don't like liars. So why do I like this so much? Honestly, it's because of this right here, right here, this and this right here. I am a huge fan of like my armor and everything matching. So this shit look fire, look caliente. This shit looks cool. Now, I do have another one, which is this one with this right here. If you guys have seen my last video of my hunter, you guys will know that I actually, this actually looks familiar to you guys probably. You guys will see in a minute. So this is how my hunter used to look. This is exactly how he used to look in Season of Opulence. This is the role I went with and I still think to this day this shit look fire as fuck. Like I love this. But unfortunately, the Iron Simicky grips, I can't get them again. They're not. You can get them in this DLC. I still have them, but you can't get them anymore. So obviously I'm not gonna erase them because they're awesome, but I did find a good alternative, which is this one right here. This. I love the way this looks. I think the gold is a bit much. I really wish that the, the gold wasn't there, but at the end of the day, it does look cool. I, I fuck with it a lot. And I do want to get these boots again, the shadow strides. I really want to get them again because I actually think this is probably the best armor the hunters have had in a while, especially raid. So I will be going for these, but this is basically how my hunter will look when I get these boots. But for now, I usually just do this one now because it looks really cool. The fed are the feathers, the foxtails from this. And then the rope here makes it look like I'm about to do some cool shit. Like this looks cool to me. I think the only issue is that the boots look really gross to me. But like I said, most of the time, I'm going to be rocking this right here. There are other customizations that I do like, like this armor, this armor. I got this a while ago. If you guys haven't seen, I'm, like, I'm already at 146 season rank. So this is another one. I love this armor set. I think it's awesome. This is a great way to do like this should have been fucking the raid armor. I'm still bitching about that, but it does look good, cool at the end of the day. So I'm really happy that I have it. But I usually never really wear this anymore because it's like whatever is honestly. Like I said, I like a hunter to look like a hunter. So I have more chances to wear something like this. I have more chances to wear something like this because at the end of the day, I'd look like a fucking hunter. If I want to be really, really extra about it, I could probably do this, this helmet right here. Because at the end of the day, this looks cool. Like... This is why I like the hunter. The hunter has so many choices that I can pull from and I'll still look cool as hell. Like you guys will see when I do my Titan and then my warlock reviews that that's not the case for them. My warlock and my hunter, they're really finicky, really finicky to do. And honestly, I can't wait until I get the armor pieces for like the extra ones. I've gotten the boots and the arms. Hopefully next week we get like a chest piece. I, I, oh my God, I want the chest piece. I want all, I want all of them. They look really cool. Unfortunately, I only have 9,000 bright dust. So I have to like grind for that shit again, which is really annoying. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'll show you my weapons real quick. I, my spare my spare rations God roll. I, I love this. I just got this not too long ago. And oh my God, guys, I'm, I fell in love with it. It's so good. And then mountaintop, obviously. I love the tranquility roll that I got with this. Like it's really, really good in my opinion. Uh, snapshot sites with field prep. It's, I love this. I love this roll. I really do. <clears throat> 
The next exit strategy, obviously, I already have this. You guys already know it. I've done a review for this weapon. I think it's amazing. And then Randy's throwing knife, which is amazing as well. I love this weapon. It's a lot of fun. And then the Huckleberry with Izanagi's burden, which obviously is Izanagi. I'm just going to be using it all the time. I love Izanagi. I've loved Izanagi since I first saw it when it came out back in season of the forge so i man i've loved this gun since then I, I just love the way it shoots and then last but not least bray tech werewolf which whatever honestly i don't give a shit about this weapon it's fine it's fine i do have another role which with a outlaw and a kill clip i think which is fun i think that's that's a pretty good role but I still I'm still trying to get something with multi kill clip and like maybe outlaw or like if it drops with it like feeding frenzy that would be fine <laughs> and for secondary or energy we have soul survivor I like this role I think it's really good snapshot sites with outlaw I think this is a really good role this is the god not the god role this is the curated role if I remember correctly and I love it I love this gun very snap snappy and I've done some nasty shit with this Retold Tale, ah, this, I've been using this since uh, Forsaken. Since Forsaken, I've been using this. It's my trusty, I will destroy you gun. Immediately sla slide shot with quick draw, amazing gun. I love this gun. With Icarus Grip, of course. Obviously the reclu Recluse, it's, you already know, this gun's fucking dumb. It's uh, stupid as fuck. And... At this point, I don't use it as much as I used to. I only use it when I need to. <clears throat> Luna's Howl, I love this weapon. This The video that I made for it is still garnering a lot of views for whatever fucking reason, which is amazing, but just wish uh, my newer videos got that much con or views, but whatever, I'm not, whatever, I'm not sad or salty or anything. <laughs> I love this weapon. I'm gonna be going for Not Forgotten this season because it's extremely easy to get this season. Aaron Tail, yes, I am that type of guy. I ended up getting one with backup plan, moving target, uh, projection fuse, and uh, the scope is fine, but I did get a range master work on it. <clears throat> so, honestly, the only thing that's making this not a god roll for me is the fact that it doesn't come with a, like, a scope. If this came with a scope, it'd be gross. And my callus mini tool, which is the scout rifle, right, or scout rifle, the submachine gun that I love. Oh my god, this SMG puts in work, guys. Feeding frenzy with moving target. Get the fuck out of here. This shit is snappy. Oh, I have a uh, ricochet rounds on it, and then hammer forge rifling with a range masterwork on it. So obviously, I love this weapon. This weapon is dope as fuck. This is actually my first roll I ever got, and that was it. I was like, that's it, I don't care about anything else. This is a god roll for me. And this is the first one I ever got, like back in uh, Season of Opulence, when we didn't know what the rolls were. I ended up doing whatever, and I got this, and I was like, okay, yeah, I can fuck with this. So, this one has a fucking a funny story. It's that just the fact that like, I ended up not knowing what I was gonna get, and then I got a god roll. At least I think this is a god roll. And then, oh, Hush, I have, I've actually been using Hush a lot more. I got a thousand kills with it now, which is more than I thought I would ever get. And it's really wild because this actually helped me a lot in the dungeon. This is what I use, guys. This is what I use. And it was, it's really weird that I used this. And then last but not least, uh, Ari Ariana's Vow. And not gonna lie to you guys, this took a while to get the masterwork. It took a while. More, more than I thought it would. I think the the ornament's pretty dope. Would I would I make that a level 100 reward? No, no, I would not have. I would probably have done something cooler, like something that affects multiple weapons. Like this would have been cool if this was an ornament for every weapon. That would have been cool. I know that's asking a lot, but I'm just saying like some level of like, oh shit, that's a lot. Like this did not feel like that. And then, <clears throat> and then weapons or 
heavies we got tractor cannon obviously you guys already know why i use this to destroy people in pvp obviously i love destroying people with this weapon especially if they have their super they're like i'm gonna get you and it's like nope nope no you wanna denied get out of here that's my weapon now i have my quote-unquote god roll uh swarm of the raven honestly i only say that because it comes with uh spike grenades it's not a god roll this is not that hard to get <laughs> I did get velocity though, and you do want to get, oh my God, I cannot believe I've not been doing that. So with spike grenades, you want to go with as low as blast radius as possible. So that way the initial hit can be stronger, which I can't believe I've been using volatile launch that I'm a little annoyed by that. <clears throat> my hammerhead, which now that I think about it, is not a god roll. Well, I. I'm saying it's not a god roll. I knew it was not a god roll, but it's not as great as I thought it was because I'm never using this when I'm surrounded. So the surrounded with threat detector just seems kind of like whatever. <clears throat> Although I could probably use this in Gambit more. 21% delirium. You already know this weapon puts in the work. I love this gun. This shit's fucking dope. Uh, nothing much to say about that. Just amazing gun. This is the one I've been wanting to talk about. Love and death. I ended up getting a fucking god roll with this so i know a few people have been farming for this i don't know if they have it or not i know like one guy off the top of my head is uh what's his name say no to rage uh lono i think yeah i know he's been farming for this and immediately made me laugh because i ended up getting full court with spike grenades and this is an aggressive frame so this already makes it really gross genesis doesn't i don't care about that and then with a velocity one so oh dude like when I saw this, I I just started laughing hysterically because at the end of the day, I uh, I got this from just a random drop. It wasn't even like the grenade uh, quest. It was just a random drop. So I got really happy. I did not use this in the dungeon as much as I thought I would just because the last boss, you have to be in like a really small area. <clears throat> And because I'm used to using Swarm of the Raven, I just put on Swarm of the Raven instead. So, 1,000 voices, y'all already know. This is the gun I use uh, when I have nothing else to do. Actually, I don't use this because I don't know why I said that. But I love this gun. I really hope that the ornament comes back one day because I like the ornament. But this took me too long. This took me, I think, like, what, 20-something uh, clears before I got it. And after that, yeah, I used it for like a few mo times, and then after that, I don't use it anymore. But yeah, I still think it's an amazing gun. I can't wait until the master or masterwork. What's it called? The catalyst comes out. I can't wait until the catalyst comes out. That'd be great. And anarchy, obviously, this weapon's fucking gross. I wish it had an ornament. That would be cool. But this weapon's awesome. I love it to death. I don't use it as much as I would want to, but then again, it's still an amazing gun great for consist consistent dps and that's pretty much it i will show you guys my collections for my exotics just so you guys know like what level i'm at right now i have everything on this list i don't have everything on this list unfortunately i'm still missing teraba and then the the raid exotic the quest one from the new uh from the new raid but other than that that's it uh, besides xenophage but i don't give a shit about xenophage so i'll get that when i care about it or when my friends want to get it and then armor itself i have everything guys i have everything everything so i'm not here just to flex i wanted to flex a little bit but that was more just to show you that i'm just i'm done like, i have my hunter how he looks i like how he looks most of the time so at this point, I'm just kind of waiting. This is how he usually looks. So that's my review for my Hunter. I'll do some other ones for my other classes, but that's pretty much it. I know this video was a little longer than usual, but the, like, the next ones are gonna be shorter because I'm not gonna be showing you all that extra other extra shit. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. Comment on how my Hunter looked. Did it look gross? Did it look cool? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys later.